are back again with a new series. This mechanism is one I got from Paper Paul's YouTube channel. It's not in any commercial books that I know of, but it's a, a mechanism that I find rather elegant. It includes these curve shapes. Paper Paul is the master of curved pop-up. A lot of it is quite beyond me. Anyway, I, I really like this one because it folds down and then it folds up. So this could be wings, hands. It gives you a, a ridge to build on here. It gives you gullies you can build on here and here. It, there's all sorts of possibilities that you can build with this. But it's just in itself, I just find it a really elegant mechanism. I've had some trouble working it out. So I had these sort of failures. It's like this isn't working. And here's another one here that's somehow not, not quite working. It's all based on these these shapes. There's two of these. These are all parallel folds, asymmetric, parallel quadrilaterals. All four sides are different lengths. And getting those right is the, the key to this mechanism. So if we look at this one, when it's completely flat, the tops come down. The steeper these are, the better it is for making these in turn come up. It seems that's the key to making this mechanism work in a way that gives you these curved shapes. So making these quadrilaterals is quite difficult. If I start with this, this is a parallelogram. The two long sides are the same and the two short sides are the same. It will go flat. You've got a long side and a short side and a long side and a short side. On this mechanism, you have an asymmetric quadrilateral. It's not a parallelogram. All four sides are different. So if you take one of these and you want to make it into one of these, you can take it like that. And so as it goes flat like that, whatever you take off this short bit, you've got to take the same off this long bit. So if we just pinch it in a bit like that, so now we're going to take the same amount off each of those. So now we could glue that and you'll see that that is a, or we could even turn one into a flap rather than just gluing it. So take a piece out there and a piece out there. And now we can glue that and you'll have one of these asymmetric shapes that will still fold flat. So there we are. So now you can see you've got an asymmetric shape with all four sides are different and you've got like on this model, you've got some slope on it. And so that's what you need. You need to get a good slope on the top that that's what helps these come up like that. So let's just start by making those. So you'll need two of these pieces. Uh, we'll need a base sheet. There's a base sheet. Now these are the ones I've prepared for making a model like this. So the dimensions are on one end, you've got a tab. This is for gluing it together. This is just one centimeter wide. Then you go 10 centimeters, three centimeters, eight and a half centimeters, four and a half centimeters. So when you add up this long one and this one, that's 13 centimeters. Then this eight and a half plus four and a half, that's 13 centimeters. And on this, the shorter of the two long ones, you've got a slot cut right in the middle of it. The yellow arm that pushes up the wing, that will come through that slot. So I've creased all the creases. I can just glue it shut now. Okay, that's your asymmetric quadrilateral, which will fold flat. So you've got the 10 plus the three on one side and you've got the four and a half, eight and a half on the other side. So it's giving you a nice angle on the top. Here's the other one. I've marked out the lengths for this slot. On each side, there's two centimeters, three, two, the whole thing is seven. 
So I'll just glue this one shut as well. Okay, while that dries, I'll stick the first one onto the base. So you start with the stick, the long side goes flush against the spine. So that's going to go like that. Okay, so this is the, the side that's 10. It goes flush against the spine. Make sure it's soundly stuck. Fold it over. So you can see the whole thing will go flat and it will also stand up. We can take the other one and stick it back to back. So first I'll stick that to the spine. There we go. Between adding each piece it's good to fold the whole thing shut and basically iron it just to make sure that anything that's a little bit off, any crease that's a little bit off, any bit of sticking that's a little bit off, just so it all moves into the best position when the base is closed. Now we can stick those two sides back to back. There we go. And now I'll just fold that and make sure it's good. Now we can add the blue bits that are on the top here. These are going to be the wings. So I did try making it one piece that went over the top and it, it just made it clunky. It didn't really work nicely. So I've made it into two pieces. So the top, this is three centimeters. So on this, it's three centimeters and I've made the extension five centimeters long. So we can put these two onto the top there. And the other. Now these are going to go down when it closes, so we'll just fold them down and iron it again. So that's that. Now I've got these pieces. These are tricky. These are the bits that are going to curve when they're put into place. And the way to work out how long they should be, if you start from the spine, when you fold the whole thing flat, it's the length of the, the base, the three and a half, plus the eight and a half, that gives you 13. Minus is going to stick, that, so that would take you right from the spine to this fold at the top. That would be 13, but you want it to come down two centimeters from that to stick onto this piece of the blue one. So it's going to be 13, that's this plus this is 13, or this plus this is 13 minus two because you're coming down. So here they are. It's 11 centimeters. From crease to crease, you've got 11 centimetres plus a tab on each end. I haven't creased those yet. I tried sticking the, the yellow bit in. On Paper Paul's model, he sticks it not flush into the spine. He sticks it a little way out along the base. So I tried that. And you don't get as much curve or as much lift as you do when I try sticking it right in against the spine, then you get a, a better curve and a better lift. The whole thing is very, it's very subtle and very complicated and, and almost beyond me really. It took me ages to work out how exactly to do it. Anyway, this is what I worked out. It's a variation on paper pulls. If you do go to his YouTube channel and look at what he's done, he's built these things and then taken it further. He's used this as a basis and then built onto that. But I think for this channel, this is quite enough actually. I'll put some glue on that. One end. Put it through the slot. Stick the 
crease right into the gully of the spine. Make sure it's centered enough that it's not going to jag against the corners of the slot. And now this is going to be glued with this. When it's closed, this outer flap is going to go down. So now you can put the glue on this other flap at the other end and start folding the whole thing closed so it finds where it wants to glue. So we go like that. As you start closing it, the yellow strip is pulling back into the whole shape. You can shut it down, crease it, press it. And with any luck, when you open it, it'll lift up and give you an elegant curve. So there we are. And I'll do the other side as well. So glue on the tab. it through the slot up against the the gully make sure it's centered close it to make sure it's all comfortable seems to be okay now put glue on the other one And for it to find its place, you start closing it down so that the yellow strip withdraws into the, the mechanism. You can fold the flap down and it finds its natural place. These could be wings, these could be arms. It gives you a lot of gullies you can build on. It gives you ridges you can build on. There's gullies here, gullies here. There's all sorts of possibilities for building. Any of these could be extended, you know, this way, that way. Um, you could cut bits away. You can play with this a lot. But I just think it's actually a really, really interesting shape. Thank you, Paper Paul.